about set to go. And here with the play-by-play, -play, the voice of the Cornhuskers, Kent Pavelka. Thank you, Gary Saddlemeyer. Nebraska gunning for its first national championship since New Year's night, 1972. The game about to unfold New Year's night, 1995, at the Orange Bowl with Nebraska receiving the opening kick. Wind not a factor at the goal line to our left, which is the west goal. Damon Benning to the right between the goal line and the one yard line and Clinton Childs to the left. Benning has returned 12 kicks for 25.7 yards per return. Childs nine kicks for 21.1 per return. The kickoff man is Dane Pruitt, a 5'11", 211 pound junior from Birmingham, Alabama. We are ready to begin as Nebraska gets the opening kickoff. Miami lined up at its own 25-yard line. It's restraining line, the 35. Pruitt approaches the football, hits it with his right foot, end over end. It's Benning at the goal, comes out to the 5. He's to the 10. Benning out to the 15-yard line, hit down hard. And Nebraska starts this football game first and 10, 85 yards away from the Miami goal line. 15-yard return by Benning. And now Tommy Frazier out on the field, and we've got a Miami hurricane down. Slow in getting up, the tackle on the play by Jeffrey Taylor on the kick coverage along with Eugene Ridley. And the Miami player being taken off the field. We're about to see the first snap from scrimmage. Nebraska with the ball on the right side hash mark. The field is to the left. The boundary to the right side. Tommy Frazier, number 15, in the ball game. Starting tonight, winning the job from Brooke Beringer. He's been on the shelf since Early on in this season with blood clot problems, he's earned the starting job in Nebraska. Will run from the I pro set, a draw play on first down. Muhammad in motion to the left side. The draw is to Phillips, and he's out to the 20-yard line. A big pop right up the middle on the draw to Lawrence Phillips, the nation's third leading rusher. Stey is going to try to deal with Warren Sapp, the right tackle. The Lombardi Trophy winner and Tommy Frazier calls timeout before the second play of the football game. He'll go over to the far sideline and talk it over with Tom Osborne. I was told a spread set would be the second down play, but they have changed that up. No, they have not. They're in the spread. Tommy under center, Aaron Graham on second and five. Hands under center, Aaron Graham takes the snap. He gives to his fullback, and that is Schlesinger. Fights for a tough couple of yards off the left side. Backed up with the line of scrimmage initially at the 20-yard line, but forced his way out to the 22, and Nebraska will be looking at third down and three and a half yards to go. All right, third down, three yards to go to the Cornhuskers at their own 22-yard line. Holbein in motion right to left, trips left side for Nebraska, snap the Tommy. Bootlegs to the right off the play fake, has time, goes long, down the middle, incomplete intended for Holbein at the 50-yard line, and Nebraska will have to punt. Holbein laid out, couldn't get to it. Frazier goes 0 for 1. And the Oscars are stopped on third and three. Malcolm Pearson on the coverage. Amy German, the punt returner, averaging 9.1 per return. Long this year, 37. Erstad at the Cornhusker nine. Takes a step forward, hits it from the 12. End over end, not much height. German lets it bounce, takes a Miami bounce. And finally is picked up by Corey Schlesinger. And Miami will have the good field position with which to begin its first drive. First and 10 at its 42-yard line. A 37-yard punt by Erstad, whose ankle is hurting. And so Miami over the ball. They've got it just a little to the right of the center of the field at their own 42-yard line. Opening minutes of play here in Miami. National championship games. And the quarterback Costa under center has a man in motion right to left. And the long starting count on the snap and the five-step drop. The pocket holds over the middle he goes. And it is incomplete at the 49-yard line. Second and 10. Hurricanes at their 42. <laughs> Phil Ellis on the coverage of the Hurricanes come up over the football. Wide to the right, Chris T. Jones, Hurricanes leading receiver with 39 grabs this year. Two wide outs right, one to the left, lone running back, and Costa marks out his starting count, takes the snap, takes it back on a draw. Zone play left side out to the 45 and tackled at the 46-yard line. The Miami running back knocked down by Tony Veland, the free safety. It was James Stewart on the carry out to the 46 or 7-yard line. Third and six, Miami, their 47-yard line on the left side, hash mark. The boundary left. Right in front of the Miami bench, the field to the right side. And Costa is in the gun, takes the snap, no backs. Five-man rush, guns it off the left side, complete for a first down across the 45 to the Nebraska 43-yard line to A.C. Tellison. 
So Costa on third and six operates in the gun and guns one complete left side the first first and ten of this football game. The ball now between the 44 and 43 of Nebraska first and ten Miami trips to the right that means three wide outs to the field tight end of the boundary left side one lone running back and Costa other center. Waits for the snap from Casey Jones and has it. Three step drop throws it off the right side. It's complete and the receiver hit and hit out of bounds. Baron Miles knocking Chris T. Jones out but not before Jones picks up yardage to the Nebraska 35 and a half yard line and that means it'll be second down and about two yards to go for the game. Working in a long two for Miami. Ball on the right side hash now as Miami works east to west from right to left as we watch the ball game from high on the south side of the stadium. Trips left side one lone running back. That's James Stewart. Costa under center. Nebraska with a four man front. Showing blitz. Costa has the snap and flags fly. There was contact just prior to the snap of the ball. Jay Ina, their right guard, came across the line of scrimmage. But we shall see if it was on the defense or on the offense. We shall see as the official Big Ten referee Ron Winter comes to the press box. Dead ball. False start. Offense. It'll cost them five. Here we go, kid. First penalty of the game goes up against Miami. Second and seven. Nebraska's 41-yard line. Trips left to the field side. And you not showing blitz here. Four down linemen. Backers playing back behind the line of scrimmage. Snap to Costa. They give us to Stewart. He fights across the 40. He's down to the 37-yard line. 38 or 37-yard line. Stewart with a little hole there through which to pop. And then the closed in a hurry. The Cornhuskers with a nice play defensively as that play did pop to the secondary. Yeah. Troy Dumas and Miami. Doing anything much on the ground, and they obviously want to make their living with a passing game at least early here tonight. Jamie German wide left. Chris T. Jones wide to the right side. Slot back left as well in motion. Left to right before the snap on third and four and a half. Snap to Costa. Two-step drop. Over the middle he goes. It's complete inside the 25. And to the 20-yard line for a first down go to the Hurricanes. Chris T. Jones on the reception. And Baron Miles, a half count late in getting there. Miami down the field of the Cornhusker 20 in the red zone. Miami over the ball. Three wide outs left, tight end right. Lone running back is James Stewart. Costa, the quarterback, waits for the snap. Long count, and you jumps, flags, play blown dead. Christer, Christian Peter came across the line of scrimmage into the neutral zone and I think made contact. Made co indication here officially. Again, the referee. Outside. Yeah. Defense. Five yard penalty. No score. First quarter, 10. Scenario, of course, would be to get the turnover and shut him down. Miami comes over the ball. It is put a little to the right of the center of the field. The Canes first and five at the Cornhusker 15. Their field goal kicker 13 for 14 this year. Costa with three wideouts left drops back to throw has time. Now the pocket crumbles lets the ball go and it's incomplete. He felt pressure and got rid of it. It's second and five from the Cornhusker 15 yard line. Yes. Miami second and five Cornhusker 15 yard line. Ten minutes to go in the first period. No score. And you has it had it once. They were three and out. And with th three receivers wide left, the give is to uh, Stewart. Tries the right side. The Huskers play brilliant defense. A loss on the play. Stewart had nowhere to go. Tremendous pursuit led by Tony Veland. Helped out by Troy Dumas. And they will blow the play dead. Back behind the line of scrimmage will put Chris T. Jones out wide right. Wide to the left side is Jamie German. And the lone running back again is James Stewart. Costa is underneath center. Huge third down play. And Costa drops back to throw. Four-man rush pocket holds over the middle. Complete inside the 15, inside the 10. A penalty marker, and the receiver is down inside the 10 at the 9-yard line. See what the penalty's all about. Need to get it to the 10-yard line of Nebraska. They have it at the Cornhusker 34. Huge break by Nebraska on the offensive pass interference penalty against Miami. Canes over the ball. They've got five wideouts in. Three left, two right. Costa naked in the backfield takes the shotgun snap Nebraska comes with five Costa scrambles inside the 30 and he slides down at the 25 yard 26 yard line Costa had an opportunity to carry that ball further down the field elected not to and it's fourth down facing Miami well Dane Pruitt will try a field goal he's 13 for 14 as long as 38 this one will be a 44 yarder from the 34 yard line left side hash high snap placement Pruitt's kick looks like it has enough on it. Is it good? It is good. With 7.54 to go, first quarter of play. Each team is at it once. Miami scores. It's three to nothing, Miami. So Pruitt gets the field goal. He's now 14 for 15. Just hit his season long of 44 yards. We're ready to go about halfway through the first period here in Miami. And Pruitt approaches the ball. 
hits it at the 35-yard line, end over end, and high like a punt. Underneath it at the Nebraska three-yard line is bending to the five, middle return to the 10. He's out to the 15-yard line, bending to the 20, and he drags people out to the 24-yard line and a penalty marker thrown from about a mile away. Let's see. We're going to have a hold against Nebraska. Nebraska's in an ace set here. One back, two tight ends, two flankers from its 10-yard line. They have a double screen in off this set, a new play. We shall see if they run it. Snap the Tommy, looks right. Screen pass right. It's uh, Lawrence Phillips out to the 10-yard line. Dukes a man out to the 15, 16-yard line and knocked down hard, almost twisted in half. So a pickup of six yards on first down by Lawrence. Screen right side off the ace set. Marvin Davis comes over to make the play. High pro set. Cluster Johnson flanker left to the field. Wide to the right side as the split end is Riley Washington. The snap to Tommy. And the give to the fullbacker, Lawrence. He's out across the 20 to the 22-yard line, and Nebraska has its first first and 10, and that was a cutback. G-ball in there for the first time. Split out wide to the right side. From the right side, has 22-yard line, first and 10, and you. Tommy Frazier has cluster in motion left to right, and it's a sweep left side, and it is Lawrence Phillips to the 25-yard line, cuts back out to the 27, 28-yard line, and tackled hard once again by Miami. Second and four and a half, Cornaskers, their 27 and a half yard line. Open set for Nebraska, two running backs in the eye, and Tommy takes the snap, and it's a sprint draw, and off the left side is Lawrence out across the 30. He's out near the first yard, first down stick. Lawrence Phillips running hard off a zone play left side. It's in 10, Nebraska left side. Hashfield right, boundary left. Moving left to right, the Huskers behind 3 0. 540 left in the first. And Cluster in motion right to left. In an option play, the first one of the night. And Tommy turns the corner across the 35 and plows forward to the 40 yard line. Tommy Frazier, A OK on the option. Electing not to pitch to Phillips, but it ran it himself. A set again, one back. I believe that's Lawrence. No, it's not. It's Clinton Childs in the game. And the give is to Clinton. Tries the middle. Fights his way forward for maybe a yard. That's it. Then driven backwards. Clinton Childs out beyond the 41. Cut down short of the 42. Nebraska needs to get the ball out just beyond the 42-yard line. And Clinton on that carry. Coming in for Lawrence Phillips, who was out for one snap. We'll find out what the problem was there. When we get a report from the sideline because Lawrence is back in after just missing one play. I doubt, I doubt a problem. Can't probably... Just uh, maybe an equipment adjustment or uh, maybe a breather for one play, but he's back on the field. Third down, one yard to go, Nebraska. Cornasker, 41-yard line. And here's another new look for Miami for the first time, the double tight end, full house backfield. Tommy under center, takes the snap, turns, runs an option play, penetration, and he is hammered for a loss. Back at the Nebraska 35-yard line, but a flag. A flag on the far side of the field. That's what Zach Weaver said. Offside, selling. defense. Five-yard penalty for the previous spot. Result. First down. Huskers moving the ball from their 10-yard line. First and 10, their own 46, perhaps setting up Miami for something deep because they've been effective running the ball between the tackles and on the option play on this series. And Tommy takes the snap and gives to his tailback, and that's Lawrence. Big hole up the middle, across the 50 to the 46-yard line of Miami. Huge chunks on this drive by Nebraska. Burgess made the stop, but things are opening for the Big Red as Schlesinger led that Tailback into the line of scrimmage on the isolation play. Key blocks by Graham and Schlesinger and the Huskers into Miami territory for the first time. Lawrence game already 29 yards on five carries. And so Nebraska's over the ball on second down. Three and a half yards to go at the 47-yard line of Miami. High pro set. Flanker right. Or split end right is Reggie Ball. Flanker left is... Uh, Fluster, who comes in motion, and Tommy on an option. He gave it off to his fullback, and that's Schlesinger. He broke free. Schlesinger down to the 41-yard line of, of the Miami Hurricanes. Another first down for the Cornhuskers. Still say Nebraska's setting up Miami for a big play over the top, but why run one as long as you're making yardage the way you are right now? Under center, Tommy in the A set takes the snap. Option right. Pulls back the throw out of it. Goes long. He's got Abdul between double coverage. It's intercepted. Intercepted by Miami inside the five-yard line. Miami comes over the ball. First and ten. Ball between their two and three-yard line. Left side hash mark. Cost of the quarterback. James Stewart, the lone running back. Chris T. Jones wide left. They've got two tight ends in there. In their version of the ace set. Costa waiting for the snap. Takes it. Turns. Gives to Stewart. Left tackle. Goes nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. The Huskers are right there defensively. That big defensive front would not be blocked. Keneally, Peter... Dante Jones all there, and it is second down and 10 yards to go, and the Huskers will, if they can turn Miami back without a first down here, get a great uh, advantage in terms of field position. Terwilliger in there that time uh, at a linebacker spot. Coleman also 
up front, and uh, he's pretty much interchangeable, of course, with Phil Ellis in the middle there. I like the way this game is turning, even though Nebraska's behind with 13 minutes gone, two minutes to go in the first quarter, behind three to nothing. Defense stuffed Miami on that first down play. They got two wide outs to the right, one to the left. Lone running back again is Stewart. Costa under center from the two, turns. Play fake, wants to throw, pocket holds, goes long. It's complete, and you playing soft, and the tackle made at the 20-yard line of Jamie German. The tackle out there, I believe, by Tyrone Williams again. But he gave him a lot of cushion on that play. As Costa now is four for six, throwing it 51 yards. Now, Baron Miles over there in that corner, Kent, very soft in coverage that time, a concession maybe to the tremendous speed. So Miami over the ball. First and 10, ahead 3 0. A minute 25 to go in the first. Costa takes the snap, turns, play fake, wants to throw, pocket holds again, goes long. Man has a step jump ball. It's complete inside the 40. And down to the 36 yard line in Nebraska goes A.C. Tellison. And we just saw what the pundits suggested might happen. The big, rangy Miami receivers. Tellison going 6'4 and 212 pounds in a jump ball situation with Nebraska's smaller DBs. A minute and nine to go in the first quarter. Miami over the ball with three wide outs left side. Ball a little to the right of the center of the field. Miami working right to left, east to west. Costa under center, Stewart behind him. Three steps, gives to Stewart. Stewart cuts off right side, broke a tackle. Penetrates the 35 and down to the 34-yard line, maybe. Stewart, ball carrier. And Miami. so that thing looked like it might pop, but again, good pursuit to the ball by Stewart, Coleman, and Dumas. As Coleman. James Stewart, the running back, looked like he might have some running room off the flank right side. Gained only two, though, second and eight. Well, these Kings can really stretch you out, of course, when they... But they go into almost what amounts to a run and shoot set at times, Kent, and uh, they get these guys with a great speed uh, finding the seams in behind the linebackers and up in front of the secondary, which they got on the big gator. Three wide outs to the left side again. The split end is uh, Chris T. Jones, Jamie German, one of the slot backs. Costa on second and eight from the corner, 35. Takes the snap. NU comes on a twist. Screen play left side complete inside the 35, inside the 30, 25, 20, 15, inside the 10, the 5. A touchdown. Trent Jones, touchdown Miami. And the PAT coming up by Dane Pruitt. It's up, and it is through there, and the Miami Hurricanes, with four seconds left in the first quarter, have opened up a 10-0 lead on the top-ranked Cornhuskers. Here we go, Dane Pruitt to kick it off. 10-zip Miami. Pruitt approaches it, hits it, low kick. Almost a squib, bounces at the 17 into the hands of Benning at the 8-yard line to the 10, 15. He's out to the 20, Benning 25, and fights his way forward out to the 29-yard line. Brooke Beringer in there for Tommy Frazier at quarterback. 10-0 Miami, second quarter about to unfold. In the open set, Nebraska, Brooke gives it on a counter sweep, and it is Lawrence behind Weger. Out beyond the 35, the 40, and he bolts forward to the 45-yard line, Lawrence Phillips. Counter sweep left from the 30. Out to the 44-yard line, a pickup of 14 yards by Phillips. Marlon Barnes made the stop. Well, Oscars with the ball on the left side, Ash. Boundary left field to the right. Quickly over the ball, Reggie Ball split end left side. Flanker to the right is Abdul Muhammad, I pro set. Brook under center takes the snap. And it's uh, give up the middle, and again, across the 45 to the 46-yard line goes the tailback, Lawrence Phillips, for short yardage. This carries 44 yards, Lawrence Phillips, second and nine, Nebraska, the ball between the 45 and 46 of NU. They've got tight end left. This is an ace trip set. Three receivers to the right side and an option to the short side of the field, and Brook on the carry slips and falls at the 47-yard line. Brook. Trying to cut outside. You could see noticeably slipping on the turf, and Ray Lewis covered him. And so Nebraska looking at third and long. And you need to get the ball to the Miami 44 and a half, 46 yard line between the 46 and 45. I was down there. That, that's exactly where that field is the most devoid of grass, and that's where you got to make those sharp cuts on the option. Huge third down play for Nebraska, trailing 10 0. Eric Alford, tight end shift left to right. And you in an open set again in motion. It's Abdul Muhammad toward the set and Brook on a play fake wants to throw in trouble. Brook Beringer is sacked for a big loss back inside the 40 yard line. And it is Warren Sapp who got to him. And so the Cornhuskers lose yardage on third and seven and will have to punt the ball away. Darren Erstad in the ball game to punt it for the Cornhuskers. Jamie German will be in a single safety. Well, Warren Sapp, for all his 
running of his mouth and his gesticulations. You've got to hand it to him. He is the real deal, and he he got in there so quick and just got a hold of an ankle, and he wouldn't let go, and Barringer had to go down. Aaron Graham, long snap, and it is uh, Erstad hitting a rocket from the 25-yard line high. Underneath it, and taking a great Nebraska bounce inside the 15-yard line, inside the 10-yard line, and down at the 9. They've got uh, Jim Dandy of a halftime show lined up for you tonight, but one of the problems is it includes animals, and they had elephants out here pacing back and forth, running through their rehearsal on that spot, wore the field down. Osborne's not happy. That's right where Brooks slipped down. First and 10 Miami. They're short, just shy of their 10-yard line. Costa under center, takes the snap, turns, gives to Stewart, breaks out across the 15, cuts back 20, out to the 24-yard line. Goes the tailback, James Stewart, looking like Lawrence Phillips running the football. Eddie Stewart on the tackle, and Miami crawls out of a hole on first and 10 from its own 10. Oh, Miami over the ball, 10-0, Hurricanes, three minutes gone, second quarter. Two wideouts left, one to the right, motion to the left by the one wideout right, making a trip set left side. And Costa drops to throw, back pocket holds, fade pattern deep to Tellison. He got, catches the ball, but we're going to have interference call. Kareem Moss on the play. It may be offensive pass interference, too. It is. It is offensive pass interference. This is the previous spot. So I'm sure you could hear, folks, in the background how popular that call was here in uh, the Orange Bowl. That's first and 22, I beg your pardon, from the Miami 12. Chris T. Jones wide left. Jamie Derman wide left. One lone running back, and that is James Stewart. And Costa takes the snap and drops, and it's a draw play, and Stewart broke it out across the 15, changes hands, and was run down at the 15-yard line by Kareem Moss coming in on run support. Oscars need two defensive plays and the ball back and to get to, and do something with it here to turn the momentum around. Second and 19 for the Canes from their 15-yard line. Three wide outs right side. Costa, the quarterback, looking at a six-man Husker front. Seven are coming. Over the middle, he throws it incomplete, and he saw and felt that heat big time. It's third down and 19. Three wide outs right, two to the left. They spread the field. Townsend and Peter are the down linemen, and the, the flag flies here. The umpire coming in, throwing a flag before the snap. May have had procedure. May have had a procedure penalty against Miami. We'll see. Dead ball, false start, offense. Got some five, five more. Penalty. Oh. Move the so Miami over the ball again. Ahead, ten to nothing. We played four minutes in the second quarter. Miami again. Three wide outs right, two to the left. Gun is Costa. Screen pass right, complete to the 10. And the receiver hit and broke away, hit and broke away, hit and nailed. At the 11-yard line, Jamie German knocked down. He was bouncing around like a pinball. And Grant Wistrom finally leveled him, and Miami will have to punt the ball. Met him head on, very emotional play. Emotional reaction to the play by Wistrom. He's calling for more noise from the Cornhusker fans here. Loop of Elka on the sideline. As Coleman's uh, walking it off, he got stung a little bit as he was replaced uh, there by Phil Ellis, but he'll be okay, we believe. Miami has had problems in their punting game. They've had a lot of long snaps. Sail over the punter's head and almost there. High snap, punter gets it off. And Kareem Moss underneath the ball at the 48-yard line in Nebraska. Starts to the right, gets to the 50. Eludes a tackler, cuts off left side inside the 45. He's down to the 40-yard line of Miami, and Nebraska's got it first and 10. Boy, you talk about your quickness, Kareem Moss looking for all the world like he had no chance for a return on that one after he made the catch. He was staring about four Hurricanes right in the eyeballs from about a yard away, and somehow he made a juke move and got off to the left side and upfield for a few yards. Erringer at the controls as the Cornhuskers take over in good field position at the Miami 40. Here we go, Kent. Huskers need something on this possession. Behind 10 to nothing over the wall of the 40-yard line. Left side, Hashfield, right boundary left. Brook takes it back, gives to his tail back, and Lawrence fights forward and drags people with him to the 37-yard line, near the 36. Oscars over the ball. A set, two tight ends, two flankers. On second down and six, lone back is Phillips, seven yards back. And they give on a counter sweep left side to the boundary. And Phillips turns the corner, high steps a man inside the 35 and out of bounds in front of the Miami bench at the 30-yard line, which is a first down. Huge play by Nebraska as they run it to the short side of the field because Miami had overshifted defensively to the wide side. Nine carries for LP and 55 yards. Abdul wide to the left side, right side. Riley Washington wide to the left side. The I-Pro set on first and 10. Barringer takes the snap, hands it back, gives it on a reverse play. Riley Washington got a block by Shaw. He's inside the 30. 
He's inside the 25. Riley Washington knocked down in his tracks at the 22-yard line of Miami. A reverse from left to right. Joel Wilkes with a block. Tight end Matt Shaw with a block. And Riley Washington, the fastest guy on this squad in a 100-meter dash, turns in 9 of 10 yards on first down. It's second down and one in Nebraska behind 10 to nothing. 8.35 to go in the first half of play. Needing something on this series after shutting out down Miami on its last series. Just outside the red zone. Double tights, flanker left, Brendan Holbein. Fullback is Schlesinger, the tailback. I believe still is Lawrence, and it is a play fake. No, it's the give to Lawrence Phillips, and he is inside to the 19-yard line, perhaps. Lawrence Phillips out of the ball game, and Clinton Childs in for a play. Runs it for a couple from the first and 10, Nebraska at the 19-yard line of Miami. Double tight ends, full house backfield. Cluster Johnson in motion to the left side out of that. Brook drops back, rolls to the right, run pass option. He's got Matt Shaw. Matt Shaw's in there. Matt Shaw's in there for the touchdown. Mark Gilman's got the ball. Mark Gilman for the touchdown. Pass option, first and 10 at the 19-yard line of Miami. Rolls to the right as Gilman on a late release on the right side at tight end got into the end zone for the touch. And so the Cornaskers come over the ball and the PAT forthcoming. A long snap by Aaron Graham. The hold by Johnny Bedrill and the kick by Sealer. 40-yard drive, five plays, four runs, one pass. Bedrill signals for the ball, the placement, the kick by Sealer is up there and it is through there. With 7.54 to go in the first half of play, Nebraska trailing Miami now 10 to 7. You're listening to Orange Bowl 95, the national championship. And now we're ready to play ball once more. The go ahead given. And here comes Darren, approaches the ball, hits it with his left foot. It's high end over end, and it is long. It is really long and over the end line, fielded by German. And Miami will have it first and 10 at its own 20-yard line. From the 20-yard line, Miami first and 10, moving left to right, west to east. Ball squarely in the middle of the field and Costa under center. Two wideouts left, one to the right, one lone running back. It's James Stewart. And you with a five-man front. They come with seven on a twist, though the pocket holds. Now Costa has to scramble. Costa in trouble. Costa's tackle for a loss. They got him back inside the 15-yard line. Jared Tomich and Troy Dumas all over him, but a flag on the play. And we may have a hold on the pass protector, James Stewart in the backfield, the only I've guy back. On it. Only guy back there, Larry Jones, rather the only guy back there with Costa. That's we may well have a hold. That's the call. Second and 15, Miami, left side hash mark, boundary left field to the right, one back set, tight end left, and Costa under center. And you showing blitz, coming with five, pocket holds for now. Costa off the left side, jump ball, receive. The reception is made at the 30-yard line. Tyrone Williams on the tackle as the receiver went up and came down in bounds. Chris T. Jones and Miami converts on second and 15. They get exactly what they need. And 10 here for the Hurricanes. Their 30-yard line left side hash. One back, one wide out left, two to the right. Costa out of center. Looks at Nebraska's four-man front with the linebackers plugging. They give us the tailback. He tries left tackle, gets it across the 30 to the 32-yard line. That's Larry Jones. Jones, the 6'1", 240-pound senior, who had 144 yards against Nebraska in the 1992 game, Miami's player of the game in that contest, in there replacing James Stewart. And so T. Jones wide right, Jamie German wide left, slot back to the right side is Jonathan Harris, one back in the backfield as Costa takes the snap on second and eight. Deep drop, heavy rush by Eddie Stewart. He, he throws it incomplete, and we've got a penalty flag. Penalty flag, Eddie Stewart drew a beat on Frank Costa, who was backpedaling for his life, but let's see what the penalty marker's all about. Flag thrown after Eddie had put so much pressure on Costa that he just threw it into the dirt. And the referee facing the press box, will he say holding? He will say holding against Miami. Huskers take the penalty, second down over, but now second and 24 for the Keen, 6.23 to go in the half. They've got it at their own 16-yard line. They need to get it out to their own 40. Costa operating under center. Looks at the Husker front defensively, drops back to throw, and we've got a penalty marker blowing the play dead. Now, apparently, somebody moved up front. I'm wondering if it wasn't an offensive lineman for Miami trying to get back in pass pro and get a half count step on beating that pass rush. Saeed Tucker, the tight end, I believe, moved early, Gary. Yeah, he took off. He, 
He took off like a shot jackrabbit about a half a count before his line mates did. And Miami just keeps backing themselves up with penalties. Miami now penalized seven times for 61 yards. The Canes come over the ball. They send Jamie German wide to the left side. They send Chris T. Jones. And a slot back and a quick screen left side. Incomplete across the 20-yard line. Phil Ellis on the coverage. The intended receiver looked like he had that ball and an opportunity to run up the field with it. It was Sae Tucker, the tight end, but it goes incomplete at second down and 29 yards to go for Miami from its own 11-yard line. Ken, I think that's what uh, Tucker was thinking, too. That Third down play for the Cornhuskers. They can shut Miami down and get the ball back with time. 6-19 to go on the half behind 10 to 7. Underneath center is Frank Costa. One back, two wide outs right, one to the left. And you again, linebackers plugging in there. And you comes on a twist, pop, pops to the pocket holds, throws that ball up there. It's a dying quail, a jump ball. Incomplete at the 46-yard line. Incomplete. Baron Miles was there. Tony Velan was there. And Kareem Moss was there. Draped ball over Yatil Green. Miami with the pension of the long snapper throwing the ball right over the punter's head. It was long on high the first time. This time delivered perfectly. Hit at the two-yard line by Dwayne Pruitt. A good bounce for Miami. Fielded by uh, Moss, who is dragged down at the 45-yard line of Nebraska. Moss fumbling the ball a little bit, but uh, able to come up with it. And Nebraska's going to have it 55 yards away. A 43-yard punt by Miami. Nothing on the return. And Childs, a Miami recruit in there at tailback, replacing Lawrence Phillips. Huskers in the ace set, two tight ends, two flankers from their own 45-yard line. And the lone back is Clinton Childs. Option right side. Brooke cuts it back, runs 40, 55, 50 yard line, and across the 50 to the 48 yard line of Miami. Makovica in there at fullback from Brainerd. Tailback, Clinton Childs, Omaha North. I pro set. Brooke Baringer, the quarterback. Waiting for the snap. Has it from Bill Humphrey, and the give is to Clinton Childs, and he goes nowhere. Lost yardage. From the 46 and a half back to the 49 yard line, 49 or 48 if he's lucky. Third down and six, Nebraska. 4.49 to go in the half. Miami 10, Nebraska 7. Behringer has him in the A set. Now motion, Cluster Johnson, Abdul Muhammad to the left side, and a deep drop by Behringer. Behringer guns it over the middle, complete. It's complete to Gilman, who's hit, dropped the ball, but it was blown dead at the 45 yard line, I do believe. Oh, they're going to say the ball had not been blown dead. Let's see, Miami may have the ball. Mark Gilman made the reception. I thought that the play had been blown dead at the 45-yard line. They're gonna, the say gonna say it's incomplete, did not put it away. Yep. And that's sort of a, an attempt to make both sides happy. First half will kick it from uh, just inside his 40. Blocking back is Brian Schuster. Long snap to Erstad, no fake here. Hits the ball from his 40. Wobbly kick, but high fair catch called for. Jamie German dropped the ball, got back on it at the 11-yard line, Miami. Miami will have it. German muffed it, but was able to recover. Don't want to give up anything more. Like to get the ball back, of course, and do something with it, but at the very minimum, don't let Miami pad its lead. First and 10, 11 yard line for the Hurricanes. Costa is underneath center with a lone running back. Takes the snap, five step drop, four man rush over the middle. It is complete at the 15 to the 17, 18 yard line. And that was the tight end. With a split end, Chris T. Jones on the reception. Eric Stokes made the play defensively. They'll give him the 17, looks like. Second and four Kings. They're 16 and a half. At 10 to 7. Less than four minutes to go in the half. And a draw play off tackle right side. The running back turns the corner. 20, 25, 30, right sideline, 35, and out of bounds in front of the Nebraska bench. Knocked out by Doug Coleman was James Stewart. James Coleman knocked out by or James Stewart knocked out by Coleman and Troy Dumas. So Miami over it, and they spread the field this time. Costa with no help in the backfield. Got a tight slot left, two wide outs right, two to the right, in the gun. And a snap to Costa. And Nebraska with a four-man rush. Costa guns right side, incomplete, poorly thrown. Coverage by Eddie Stewart. Intended receiver out there was Taz Johnson. Second and 10 for the Canes at their own 38-yard line. And the clock showing 325 left on the incompletion. It stops. Co the right side hash. Miami working left to right, west to east, as we watch it from the south side of the Orange Bowl. Second and 10 from their 38 field right boundary to the left, right side. And Costa with trips left side, drops back, five-step drop, steps up in the pocket, throws under heavy pressure, incomplete thanks to the rush. Dwayne Harris right in the face of Frank Costa, who is helped. It's a little slow in getting up. And so it's third and 10 for Miami at their 38. And the Huskers with a stop here will get it back. Both of the Huskers rush ends. Jones and Harris have figured out how to get to him. Not the no sacks yet tonight on Costa. 
Jones that time was double or triple team but that freed up Harris to work one on one and he got there just as Costa released that ball and popped him. No nope. Jones had the play before no quarterback sacks but plenty of hurries and Costa caves under the pressure of quarterback hurries in the gun third and ten is for 38 yard line shotgun snap the Costa has time steps up scrambles throws it on the run it is incomplete out near the first down marker it's fourth down and the receiver was wide open the cup but not this time here we go here's the, the long snap and the kick by Pruitt high hanging in the air fair catch by Kareem secures it and snuggles it in at the 25 yard line and a penalty marker we got Miami players going after Eric Stokes cheap shot big time cheap shot big time typical of the University of Miami number 47 going after Eric Stokes let's find his number let's find his name Eric Snokes, he was going after his headgear, tried to rip it off his head. And nothing throw. Oh, yeah, there is too a flag on the ground down there. And this is going to be decided on by the officiating crew right in front of Dennis Erickson, who's been complaining after every play to the officials. What do we have here? What does the referee have to say? Ron Winter. Personal, personal foul, foul against Nebraska, personal foul against Miami, obviously retaliation, offsetting penalties. Nebraska first and 10, its own 25 yard line. High set, open on either side. And the snap to Brooke, and Brooke takes it back, fakes the reverse, is scrambling for his life, runs to the right side, turns the corner at the 25 to the 30, and out of bounds goes Brooke Behringer, who got a nice block on an improvised scramble at their own 33 yard line. I set, I pro split in right, flanker left, toss sweep right side. It's Damon Benning, I believe, runs into a bunch of tacklers, but turns in the first down run. Pick of the pullback, Damon Benning is the tailback. Open set with two wide outs left and one to the right. 233 to go in the half, and Brooke takes the snap, counter sweep right side. It's Benning turning the corner, 30 yard line, 35, across the 40, 45, and down he goes just shy, I believe, of the first down marker. We'll sh we shall see. A second and less than one corn Oscars from the 45 and a half a minute 52 left to go and a half snap the Brook turns and the play fake and Brook wants to throw the ball has to scramble throws the ball on the run up for grabs it's incomplete with a minute 42 left to go and no flag the crowd wants a grounding call but Benning was out near the area where the ball was thrown all you have to have is somebody in the neighborhood and Benning was over there and third and less than one at their own 46 yard line the power look two tights three backs in the backfield Brooke changing the play looks like has cluster in motion to the right side turns gives to his tailback he's got the first down to the 50 to the 49 yard line of Miami Damon Benning shot out of a cannon between his right guard and right tackle from the 50 first and 10 corn Oscars a set and Brooke drops back to throw screen pass right side complete to Lawrence Lawrence tries the right side gets a couple three it is second down and seven corn Oscars from the 47 yard line of Miami bearing her under center out of the ace set they've got a shovel pass out of this and that's what it is and it's diagnosed as Phillips is knocked down behind the line of scrimmage loses three yards back to the 50 Warren sap collared Nebraska's Lawrence Phillips on a brand new play well, that was just great individual athletic ability on the part of Warren Sapp because uh, Warren, as usual, was headed upfield into the Husker backfield, and he's just got cat quick reflexes and was able to reach out and just grab the, the collar of Lawrence's jersey as he streaked by him. You just don't see many guys that can make that kind of a play. You've got to give him credit. Wide to the left side is Reggie Ball. Remember, he caught a touchdown pass against Florida State here last year. Two wide outs to the right, and you and its spread set. Brooke under center drops to throw as time. Green pass right side incomplete to Lawrence Phillips. It's now fourth down with a half minute to go in the half. And apparently this thing will go into intermission with Miami ahead by a 10 to 7 count. However, Nebraska's going to have to punt the ball away, and a big play is what Miami would dearly love to have. Amy German, single safety, Miami 12 yard line. Herstad stands at the Cornusker 36, takes the long snap, hits it from the 39. High, German off to the left side, lets it bounce. And it goes out of bounds inside the 20 at the 18 yard line of Miami and the Canes will have it there first and 10 with 23 seconds left to go in the half 32 yard punt by Darren Erstad and what a game this has been it has been everything it was advertised to be can't uh, unlike previous Nebraska Miami meetings the Cornhuskers have no reason to go into the uh, halftime locker room now uh, in a state of despair absolutely and not disarray wondering what in the world we can do to get something going.
the evidence is there from the first half. They know what they can do. They can control things up front, at least to the extent uh, that they can move the ball against the Kings. You have to stop the big play. With 23 seconds left, Leo Miami is brilliant at it. And it is uh, Costa in the gun, a draw play to the tailback, and the lone running back is snowed under, got nowhere. He is driven back, loses yardage. The line of scrimmage had been the 18. He stopped at the 15-yard line. That was Danielle Ferguson. And the Canes are happy to go into the dressing room, leading by a field goal. After leading 10 to nothing, Nebraska comes back to make it a ball game, and hold on, it's going to be something in the second half. Halftime at the Orange Bowl, 10-7 Miami. And you're listening to Orange Bowl 95, the national championship. Thank you, Gary. Third quarter about to begin for the national championship. Nebraska behind Miami 10 to 7. Darren Erstad approaches the ball, will kick it off to either German or Shipman or perhaps pass both of them. End over end, high and long, but not as long as the first one. Brought out three yards deep by Shipman, 5, 10. Cuts right, 15, plows forward, 20, and down to the 22-yard line. Nice return by Al Shipman. Right out, slip, one to the right, one running back. And Costa under center. And you, four down linemen, backers not coming. Throws it right side, complete beyond the 25 and out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Maybe the 28, but to Chris T. Jones. Very encouraging sight. Troy Dumas is out on the football field. He was ill or injured in the first half. He's out there starting at linebacker. And Costa on second, and we'll call it four yards to go from the Miami. 27 takes the snap, hands it to his tail back. Broke a tackle, out across the 30, spins forward, and finally is... Uh, down the right sideline for another five yards near the 40-yard line. So Miami comes over the ball. Three wide outs left, tight end right. Running back is Stewart on the near hash is where they spot the ball. Man in motion left to right. And Costa takes the snap. Three-step drop. Fade pass right side complete, 45-50. Near sideline out of bounds at the 46-yard line of Nebraska. Now the first down for Miami is Jermaine Chambers. Catches the Frank Costa throw. So it is uh, first and ten again at the 46 of Nebraska. Miami moving left to right, west for, to east. And Costa with two wideouts left and one to the right takes the ball, draw play to the running back, and that is Stewart out beyond the uh, inside the 45 of the 44-yard line of Nebraska. All at the Nebraska 44-yard line. Wide to the left side goes Yatiel Green. Two wideouts in that direction, the field side. One wide out to the boundary side. Costa on second and eight and a half. Drops back. Three-step drop. Guns it off the left side. Complete. Inside the 35, the 30. Inside the corner. 25, the 20. Inside the 15. Inside the 10. Inside the 5. And in there for the touchdown. Touchdown Miami. Jonathan Harris. And so now the PAT by Dean Pruitt. A little chip shot from the 10. A 20-yard point after for Pruitt. And the long snap high, placed down, kicked by Pruitt up and through there. And with 13-19 to go in the third quarter, Nebraska down by 10 again, 17-7. So Pruitt will approach the ball from left to right as we watch the kickoff here. Miami opening up a 10-point lead for the second time in this game. They led 10-0. And you closed to 10-7, but now Miami with another touchdown. And the kickoff is coming up short, and it is Benning cradling the ball at the 20. Middle return now to the sideline, 25-30. East of the 35, the 40, east of the 45, and ribbon out of bounds. Tackled at the 48 or 49 yard line, and the Huskers will have good field position with which to operate on their first possession of the second half. 27 yard return by Damon. And the Huskers are in the eye. Fullback Schlesinger, tailback is Phillips. Two tight ends, two flankers. And Behringer takes the snap toss sweep right side to Lawrence. Got a good block, tries to cut back. Can't hit down at the 50 yard line and pick up a one, second and nine coming up. Got Reggie Ball, wide to the left side, wide to the right is Cluster Johnson. The ace set with the two tight ends and the lone back is Lawrence. Behringer under center, big down here, second and almost 10 yards to go. Drops back, play fake, boots right side, Behringer to throw now, rushed. He throws the ball on the run and throws it away. And it is now third and nine and a half yards to go, Corneskers. Third down play for the Corneskers early on third quarter, behind 17 to seven, almost three minutes gone. Shift tight end right to left. That's Matt Shaw. I set. Snap to Brook. 
And the play fake. He steps up from the pocket. He goes long for the right sideline to Reggie Ball. Well out of bounds. Reggie was covered well. Double covered. It's now fourth down. And the Huskers three and out on their first possession, third quarter, just like they started the game. And imagine this. Warren Sapp's got his helmet on. Back single safety. Miami 12 is Jamie German. Again, who returned 164 yards for a punt against for a touchdown against Georgia Southern. Wobbly kick, but a lot of height. Fair catch made by German. And he is hit after he makes the catch. The crowd thought there should have been a penalty. Ball hit the ground, however. And Eric Stokes in there at safety right now for the Cornhuskers. First and 10 Canes there for 13 and a half yard line at 17 to 7. 12.02 to go in the third to snap to Costa. Drop straight back, and you can't get to him. Goes long. Home run ball. Stokes dies for it. Can't get it. Almost. Well, he had a ch chance of an interception, but Costa overthrew his intended receivers who were covered well. Again and 10. Hurricanes. Two wide outs left side, or three of them. Trips left, tight end right. Lone back is James Stewart. Nebraska showing a six man front, coming with just four, though. The give is to Stewart. Stewart off left tackle across the 15, out to the 17 yard line. Penalty marker along the far side as the tackle is made. And another penalty flag. And there must be some extracurricular activity going on after the play was made. Uh, they're probably getting chatty with each other in that, so. uh, in that pile. Yep. Talking smack. I think so. Imagine that. Imagine that against Miami. Nebraska. Referee Ron Winter out of the Big Ten. That's an illegal block against Miami. That's a personal foul against Miami. What does that add up to? 25, 20 yards, something like that. It'd be half the distance, I suppose. Yeah. Nine penalties for 70 yards against the Canes, and they spread the field big time. Three wideouts right, two to the left. As Costa is all by his lonesome in the backfield in the shotgun. Four down lineman, middle backer showing blitz, not coming. Costa sets up in the backfield. They're going to get it for safety. Safety, Dwayne Harris all over Frank Costa. The Huskers get a deuce. And so the Husker defense scores. Costa with terribly slow feet could not deal with Dwayne Harris. Harris drags him down. And the Huskers now at nine points in the ball game, 17 to nine. The count, 11:35 to go. They're going to have to kick it off from the 20 again after the safety and deep back for Nebraska. On the right side is Damon Benning. On the left side is Clinton Childs at the Cornhusker 15. And it'll not be a punt. It'll be a kick and it's end over end high. It's coming up short and this is Damon. Fumbles the ball, picks it back up, starts up field, snowed under at the 25-yard line. So Damon had to run up underneath it, muffed it, got it back. Didn't cough it up. And the Huskers first and 10 at their 25 yard line. All right, the eye set, flushing to the fullback, and uh, Phillips is the tailback. Double tights and a flanker left who's in motion. That's Halbein to the right side. Brooke takes the snap, sprint draw. Lawrence on the carry. Can he get the corner? He gets a little, about three yards. From the 25, maybe out to the 28 yard line. It'll be second down and approximately seven yards to go, depending on the spot of the ball. As the clock ticks away, and 11.15 left to go in the third quarter. You over the ball, its own 28-yard line. Second down and seven. Wide left are Ball and Muhammad. Wide to the right side is Brendan Holbein. Open set with two running backs in the backfield in the eye. And Barringer wants to throw. He goes to the right side, guns it out there, complete at the 35-yard line. Brendan Holbein tackled right there. But that is very close to what Nebraska needed for the first down. A double tight end set with... Gilman to the left side and shot to the right. This is the power eye. Three backs in the backfield. First and 10 in you down by 17 to 9. And it is a give uh, to the fullback, the trap play, and Schlesinger fights forward out to near the 39 yard line. Hit initially at the 36, broke that tackle, and squirts free for yardage to close to the 40 yard line. Yes, timeout on the field taken by Miami. Second down and six Huskers, they're 39, open set again. And the snap to Brook and the given a counter sweep, and it's Phillips around the right side looking for a block. He falls forward across the 40 to the 43 yard line. Nebraska needs to get it across the 45 to the 46. Third down, three yards to go, Corn Huskers. The ball at their own 43 yard line. Eric Alford in there at tight end on the right side. Tight end to the left is Matt Shaw. A full house backfield. Crowd gets wild. Barringer under center. And we got a flag. Again, Nebraska just cannot get anything going here without all these 
endless interruptions and what do we have delay of the game against Nebraska the 25 second play clock expired Oscars really need to convert here over the ball in the ace set and it's bearing on a shovel pass Phillips fumbles the football it's picked up by Miami and that uh, is to not be advanced because it's an incomplete forward pass stand to punt it away standing at the Cornhusker 19 yard 25 yard line hits that ball with the left foot a mile in the air Jamie German underneath it calls for the fair catch back pedals fumbles the football muffed it got back on top of it at the nine yard line well I'll tell you what Miami has dodged a number of bullets in that respect in this football game yeah Miami breaks huddle comes over it moving left to right from west to east and they are over the ball with two wide outs right one to the left and a lone running back in a quick count and it is costed a throw it's completed at the 12 yard line the receiver is German covered at the 13 nowhere to go the pursuit all over him T Jones wide left slot left is uh, Trent Jones wide left Jamie German Costa under center with a back up there behind him on Seth second and seven he wants to throw guns it to the right side incomplete at the 20 yard line it was Stewart man to man with Trent Jones mismatch there a little bit Jones is uh, awfully fast and uh, incomplete however making it third and seven Miami and you needs a third down stop here third down seven Miami their 13 yard line and it is Costa under center man in motion before the snap five step drop off the right side it's complete 20 25 26 yard line for a first down Chris T Jones wide to the left side Trent Jones in the slot right behind him and the Hurricanes with a first down we played half of the third quarter 17 to 9 Miami ahead the snap to Costa draw play running back is Stewart and good pursuit to the ball he got it back maybe to the line of scrimmage 26 yard line as Jason Pesterfield knocked him out of bounds that's the one on the play back to the 25 yard line second and ten and a half we'll call it and again Miami spreading the field Costa operates under center KC Jones and you four man front backers plugging snap to Costa rushes on he throws it complete to Chris T Jones great grab and a great job of holding onto the ball because he was stuck immediately Dumas on a blitz they picked it up and Chris T Jones caught it held on to it despite the hit by Moss and Miles and Miami over the ball on the near side hash mark the right side hash field left boundary right Costa under center once more they look like they're confused Miami they may have to take a timeout and they do First and 10, Miami, their 36, Costa takes the snap, reverse left side, and a good block on Jones, 35-40. They uh, wing back out to the 43-yard line, and that was Jonathan Harris. Two wide to the right, one to the left. Stewart the lone back, Costa under center on second and four from the 42 of Miami. Long starting count, the snap, the draw play, it swung out wide left, first down across the... 50-yard line goes the running back James Stewart right out in front of the Nebraska bench. It was Ellison Beelan knocking him out or forcing him out. First and 10, 50-yard line. Miami with the ball. Costa under center. Takes the snap. Another reverse. No, he faked. Now he wants to throw, and it's incomplete. Poorly thrown because of the pressure put on by the interior lineman. That was Pesterfield and Clint Brown chasing Costa. So it's second and 10 for the Canes at the 50-yard line. Stewart, the man for whom the pass was intended. The of note on that last time out by Miami, they uh, burned two. They have one left. And Nebraska has all three left. Second and ten, Canes 50-yard line. And you trying to get in position defensively. The give us to the tailback, who was dropped at the 49-yard line. A loss of one. A great play by Phil Ellis. Oscars need to stop Miami here on third down. Third and 11 from the 49-yard line of Miami. And Costa is in the shotgun. The short gun, three wide outs left, two to the right. Costa, screen pass, right side complete. Chris T. Jones knocked down hard at the 45-yard line by Barron Miles. Barron jumped on his back and drove him to the turf. And so Miami is going to have to punt the ball. Here's the punt coming up by Dane Pruitt. Deep back is Ma uh, Miles, or rather Moss. All in the air. The crowd thought there was a uh, penalty of roughing the punter. And the ball inside the 10-yard line out of bounds. Nebraska's in a big hole. No flag. And Tom Osborne stays with Brooke Behringer. From the six-yard line, Nebraska 94 yards out. Open set, eye formation, snap to Brooke. Brooke gives to his tailback, and he tries the middle and gets yardage out beyond the 10 to near the 13-yard line. 
And that was Corey Schlesinger. I beg your pardon, the fullback on the carry, the trap play up the middle. So Nebraska gets a little breathing room. Second down, three and a half to go. Cornhuskers, Brook under center, turns, counter sweep right. Phillips on the carry. Phillips across the 15, across the 20, and down to the 21 yard line for a first and 10. Lawrence Phillips running hard. Good blocking for him. See how Nebraska's trying to snap that ball as quickly as it can and get some continuity in the offense going here. Here's motion, Holbein, right to left, trips left, Nebraska, and Brook fakes, boots, wants to throw, goes over the middle, it's complete at the 35-yard line, and down for a first down at the 36-yard line, the Cornhuskers, Abdul Muhammad, Nebraska's leading receiver on the other end of that pass from Brook Beringer, and so Nebraska's moved the ball out beyond the 35 to the 36-yard line, and the clock stops with 3.42 left in the third quarter. Nebraska trailing 17-9. You see how quickly they get the play in. They want to snap the ball. They come up over it. Cluster Johnson to the left side. Shaw's the tight end to the left. Split into the right is Reggie Ball. Bill Humphrey in there at center. Cluster Johnson in motion toward the formation. The give is to uh, Lawrence Phillips, who goes nowhere. A loss on the play. Second and 13, Cornaskers. Under center is Brooke Beringer. The eye post set up. Dual in motion left to right. Takes the snap. Boots to the right side. And Brooke to throw the ball over the middle, and it's complete and a great grab across the 50-yard line. Abdul Muhammad once more, baby. Abdul with a big grab. And Nebraska out beyond the 50 into Miami territory, and you watch the play come in quickly, and Nebraska huddling up. They want to snap that ball and work this Miami defense. 19 yards on the pickup. Yep. Keep them on the run. Don't let them get a chance to catch their breath. Now, if the Canes want to take another timeout, they can, but they've only got one left in the half. Oscars first and 10 at the 49-yard line of Miami. They send Cluster to the right side, Abdul to the left. Double tight ends, the ace set with Phillips, the lone running back. Huskers behind 17 to nine, two and a half to go, and Brooke gives the ball off on a draw play, and it is Phillips losing yardage, about a yard. Abdul and Holbein left, Reggie Ball to the right on second down and 11. From the 49-yard line of Miami, Brooke under center takes the snap and the give. And the play fake, I beg your pardon, and Brooke wants to throw, has to scramble. He's going to be dragged down. He is thrown down to the turf. And that was Kennard Lang once more. Huge play here, third and 14, Nebraska. Ball to the right side, Holbein. And uh, Cluster Johnson to the left, and Beringer's in the shotgun. Phillips right beside him, the snap to Brooke. Wants to throw, does over the middle. It's complete inside the 40-yard line to the 38, and I believe a first down again to Abdul Muhammad. A huge series. And what do you do if it is short? At this spot on the field against this defense, and it is short, where at least Warren Sapp says it is, and now the referee indicates about a foot. 47 seconds left, third quarter. Nebraska players encouraging their coach to go for it, and I think Tom was going to go for it all along. Beringer waiting for the officials to wind the clock here. The center is Bill Humphrey. They're in the eye. Double tights, wing right. Brooke waiting for the snap. Huge fourth down play. The quarterback sneak, and I believe he got a, a good spot and got the first down. The referee, the side judge coming in from the near side, I believe gave him a good enough spot that Nebraska's going to get the first down, but don't put it in the bank because the guy on the other side of the uh, field also has spotting responsibilities, and they spot the ball. Yeah. For a first down, Nebraska just inside the 38. We'll see the... Full house backfield here. Double tights, three backs in the backfield. Brook under center. Looks at that four-man front by Miami. They come with a fifth on a blitz. Brook to throw the ball. Brook dumps it out there, complete to Lawrence inside the 35. Spins and out of bounds near the 30-yard line and hit out of bounds pretty hard. Lawrence is coming out, and Clinton Child is back in. Wide right goes Cluster Johnson. Wide left goes Reggie Ball. In the eye pro set with 16 seconds left. Third quarter, Riley Washington in there. And the give and a fumble. Clinton Childs couldn't get the ball. A scrap for the loose ball. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? We're unstacking them. Let's take a look. Who's got the football? The quarterback tailback exchange problem. And I thought, well, the officials indicated Nebraska had the ball, but they don't. Miami's got it now. Nebraska. Minus two in turnovers. Miami first and 10. It's 36 yard line. 10 seconds left, third quarter. Costa under center, takes the snap, draw play. Tail back, runs into a 
wall out near the 40-yard line, but bites through it across the 40 to the 41. That was Danielle Ferguson tackled by Clint Brown. And second down and seven, Canes, fourth quarter coming up. No backs in the backfield, and Costa underneath center. Three wide outs on the left side, two to the right. Costa, three-step drop, guns it out there. It is going to be caught out about beyond the 40 to the 43-yard line for short yardage. And Costa T. Jones wide right, along with Trent Jones. Wide left is Jamie German. Huskers, four men at the line of scrimmage. Middle backer plugging up in there as well. And he's coming. And Costa, fade pass, right side, man coverage, Miles against the receiver, jump ball incomplete, no flag, incomplete. Fourth down, Miami. Jump ball, Baron Miles going up with it for it with Chris T. Jones. And Miami will give it up. The way is Pruitt, double safety's back for Nebraska at the Cornhusker 20 yard line. High pass, throw to the center. As the punter goes after the ball at the 10-yard line, kicks the ball out of bounds. And a penalty marker, you can't do that. Kick the ball out of bounds at the one-yard line, or inside the one-yard line. We shall see the high snap from center over the putter's head. The putter retreating for the ball, kicked the ball out of bounds. And of course, the penalty flag. And so the Miami kicking game, the punting game, which has had a number of problems in that regard all season long. Makes a big, big error here. And the referee with the illegal kicking of the ball penalty against Miami. And what a huge break for the Cornhuskers here with Nebraska's going to get the ball at the four yard line of Miami as the kicking game of Miami explodes in its face. Well, Kent, they've got a linebacker in Jeffrey Taylor as the long snapper because they've been having so much trouble with that and then he fires it over Pruitt's head and Dane just realized he he was out on an island and he was in deep trouble and just I guess instinct took over and he kicked the thing and now the Cornhuskers get the very short field at the four. So now Nebraska minus one in turnovers and Nebraska first and goal at the four yard line of Miami full house backfield Phillips Schlesinger and Cluster Johnson the double tight ends Behringer under center takes the snap turns boots to the right side run pass option. He throws the ball long and it is intercepted in the end zone. Intercepted in the end zone. Nebraska with a golden opportunity. And they turn it over and Costa's underneath center, one back in the backfield. And the defense is going to have to suck it up. Toss sweep left side to the tailback. He's out to the 21 yard line. Not much there. Picked up a yard. Second and nine coming up. 1348 left in the game. Second down and nine. Hurricanes there. 21. Costa takes the snap from underneath. Center drops back to throw. Steps up in the pockets. Hit from behind. Tackled from behind for a loss. And that was Dwayne Harris once more. Tommy Frazier on the far sideline. Throwing the ball. Warming up. Where you played to 12 minutes. 55 seconds. Third and 10. And Costa in the shotgun. Two wide outs right, one to the left, one back along with Costa. The short shotgun snap. Costa steps up, guns it over the middle, and it's incomplete, nearly intercepted by the Cornhuskers at the 31-yard line by Phil Ellis. Jonathan Harris, the intended receiver. Clint Brown and Ellis both had a shot at it. But Pruitt standing at the Miami seven-yard line, waiting for the long snap. Nebraska with nine up, two back. Long snap is slow from center, nearly blocked by Miles. Good kick. Underneath it at the Nebraska 38 yard line is Moss. He dances his way out to the 44 45 yard line lost the football. Did he get back on top of it. Let's see. I think Nebraska's got the ball. As they attack this Miami defense again Tommy Frazier back on the field now. To take over for Brooke Behringer. At the controls of the Husker offense. This is 11 10 KFAB Omaha Nebraska and you're listening to Orange Bowl 95. The national championship. Six interceptions. Uh, for Brooke Behringer on his career and uh, five of them here in 19 uh, during the 1994 season. There are seven in his total career now with that last one tonight. Frazier threw one earlier. Here we go. Gary. Actually that's seven on the year and 12 on his. Well, that's your, you're absolutely right Garrick. First and ten Nebraska. Tommy underneath center. I pro set in U41 snap to Tommy option and Warren Sapp is all over him. Drops him for a four yard loss. Nearly a five yard loss. Warren snap was on Tommy Frazier before he was able to reverse pivot. Ball splits out wide left side hole behind wide right. Schlesinger the fullback. Lawrence Phillips is the eye back. 
Tommy underneath center, four-man front, and now holding back at linebacker Miami. Play fake, Tommy to throw. Tommy over the middle, throws a complete a gun, a rifle shot to Abdul Muhammad at the 48-yard line of Nebraska, which is just shy of what Nebraska needs. They need the 49 of uh, Miami. Notice Miami with four at the line of scrimmage is folding back be behind that with their linebackers now. Double tights, pull behind in motion right to left from his flanker spot. The snap and the option play. Tommy on the keep to the right side, cuts up and hit down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Tommy Frazier on the option to the right side. And he is knocked down. And it now the up back here is Brian Schuster. Should Nebraska be thinking fake here? Long snap, low from center. Erstad hits it, and he hits a rifle shot. Great spiral, tight spiral. Takes a great Husker hop, and Nebraska downs the ball at the three-yard line. What a perfect punt. Down the field and down by Nebraska's Jeff Makovica. 9.52 left to go in the game. We are set for action, the Huskers, with another defensive stand necessary with time becoming a factor. Here we go, Kip. Jason Pesterfield, Larry Towns in the down lineman for Nebraska. First and 10 canes, they're four. Trips right side, one back is Stewart, along with Costa, who takes the snap and gives it to uh, Stewart, who was tackled at the two-yard line. Last yard, he's on the play. The clock runs with 9.45 to go. Doug Coleman knifing up underneath James Stewart to tackle him. Second and 12. Miami over the ball at its two-yard line now. Wide left is Chris T. Jones. Wide to the right side, Jamie German. Costa gives to his tailback off right side, out to the five, and fights forward out to maybe the six or seven-yard line. Off right side. Big, big play. Third and six and a half for Miami from its seven-yard line. Trips left side, tight end right. Costa under center takes the snap, five-step drop. He's near the goal line, guns it out there, and it is incomplete. And uh, Miami's going to have to punt the ball away. Chris T. Jones, the intended target. It was thrown too low. Miles on the coverage. Good is five yards deep in the end zone. Nebraska with nine at the line of scrimmage. Long snap, and the punt by Pruitt. He got it off. Wobbly kick, and it is... Moss hit, got away. He's inside the 40. Almost lost the football, but holds on to it, and it's going to be Nebraska first and 10 at the Miami 40-yard line. Eight minutes, 11 seconds left to go. First and 10, Huskers. Over the ball, tight end right is Gilman. Tight end left is Shaw. And Tommy has him at the line of scrimmage, but again, before they can get the playoff, a delay, and now they, wrote, they wind the clock. Trips left side, pro trips. Snap to Tommy, runs the short side, tosses it off to Lawrence. Lawrence, he uh, eludes a tackler inside the 30, 25, inside the 20, and Lawrence Phillips is down to the 14, 15, 14 yard line. Lawrence Phillips ran out of sideline, but cut that baby back. And the Huskers at the 15 yard line of Miami, Corwin Francis made the tackle. Nebraska with 8.01 left to go in this game on a 25 yard run from the 40 to the 15 yard line by Lawrence. Tom sends Schlesinger in. He sends Eric Alford in. He sends Reggie Ball and Abdul Muhammad in. They wind the clock once more. The ball's on the right side hash mark. 7.55 left to go in the game. Nebraska trailing by eight. Wide to the left goes Reggie Ball. Wide to the right, Abdul Muhammad. Tight end, right and lefty. Huskers. First and 10 at the 15 of Miami. Tommy under center. Has the snap from Graham. And he gives it off. It's inside the 10, inside the 5, and it's Corey Schlesinger. Touchdown! 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 Touchdown, Cornhuskers! Hey, can't tell one too many touchdowns. The Huskers on two plays from the 40-yard line of Miami are into the end zone. And now Nebraska two points away from tying the ball game. 7.38 left to go. And that is plenty of time, even if you don't convert on the two-point conversion to play defense and get it back and do something with it. From the three-yard line, Nebraska will go for two, a 40-yard drive in two plays. On runs of 25 yards by Lawrence Phillips and 15 yards by Corey Schlesinger. And you go in for two. Full house backfield. Phillips behind Schlesinger. Motion by Cluster right to left before the snap. The snap to Tommy. He wants to throw the ball in the end zone. He does. It's caught. It's cut, two-point conversion. Eric Alford in the end zone. It's a tie ball game. It's a tie game, 17 to 17. Tommy Fraser to Eric Alford for the two-point conversion. Here is the kickoff by Erstad. It is a rocket end over end, high in the air, deep in the end zone, and German will not bring it out. 
touchback for tied at 17. Three wideouts left, tight end right. Costa with Stewart in the backfield. Nebraska, four-man line. Ellis in the middle showing blitz from his middle linebacker spot. Costa, long starting count. Long count, has the snap, turns, gives to Stewart. Stewart, knife down at the 20-yard line, went nowhere at second down. And nine and a half yards to go, Dante Jones and Eddie Stewart got him. Stewart with first, with the first contact. Wide outs to the right side, three to the right side for Costa, who is under center once more. Second down, nine and a half to go, just outside the Miami 20-yard line. Score tied at 17, Costa, pump fakes right side. Now wants to throw the ball in a fade pattern down the right sideline. Man coverage, Miles with Jones. It is incomplete, no flag. It is third and 10. Baron Miles in single coverage and then help with Tony Veland. And the ball comes back to the 20 and a half yard line where it's third down and 10 yards to go. Skers need a stopper here. Third and nine and a half for Miami and they come over the ball sending three wide outs to the right and one to the left. Costa naked in the backfield. No backs, he's under center. Third and nine and a half and now a man in motion from left to right before the snap. Long count again in the snap to Costa, drops back to throw the ball, goes down the left side all by himself, the receiver incomplete, it's incomplete, nobody covering the receiver, Taz Johnson, it was a blown coverage, Dwayne Harris with great pressure on Frank Costa and Miami has to punt the football away with six minutes, 40 seconds left to go in the game and it's all tied at 17 and it'll be Baron Miles, or I beg your pardon, it will be Reggie Ball. And Kareem Moss in a double safety. And Dane Pruitt standing at the Miami seven yard line, nine at the line of scrimmage for Nebraska. They've had problems. Long snap, a little high. He fields the ball, hits it. It's low. It's returnable. It'll bounce. Nebraska will have to let it alone. And it is kicked by Miami at the 42 yard line of Nebraska. And the Huskers will get it there. The Corn Huskers now offensively are in a position where they can move to within at least field goal range and take the lead. Huskers on the eye pro set first and 10 the 42 yard line left side hash mark tied at 17 going for the national championship Lester Johnson in motion it's a counter sweep left side Lawrence dances out of trouble now cuts it up field gets it back to the 40 yard line to the 41 he did a great job just getting it back to the line of scrimmage he could well have lost four or five but he got it back to the 41 yard line it'll be second down and 10. 5.55 to go Nebraska second down 10 and a half to go at its own 41 yard line shift before the snap. And you, in the spread set, Tommy is underneath center, takes the snap, wants to throw the ball, throws it off the left side. It is complete to Reggie Ball at the 48-yard line. A complete forward pass with 5, 38, 37, 36 seconds to go. Tommy, four for six, throwing the ball, 46 yards. And you, breaks saddle comes over, and it's third and four from the Cornhusker 48-yard line. 5.05 to go in the game. It's all tied at 17, the ace set. One back, that's Lawrence Phillips. And Tommy on an option play, keeps the ball. He cuts it inside the 45 yard line, inside the 40. Tommy inside the 35, inside the 30 yard line. Tommy Frazier to the 32 yard line. First and 10 Huskers. 4.51 left to go in the football game. Nebraska first and 10, 17 to 17 the score. Heisman Trophy hopeful. Tommy Frazier put on the shelf with blood clots, comes back and perhaps is engineering a national championship touchdown drive or a field goal. Abdul Muhammad to the right side, Reggie Ball to the left side, Nebraska in the eye with Schlesinger and Phillips. They wind the clock with 4.45 left to go. Tommy underneath center, Aaron Graham takes the snap, gives it to Lawrence. Lawrence inside the 30, 25 and down to the 22 yard line. Lawrence Phillips between his right guard and right tackle and the clock runs with 4.33 left to go. They're putting it in position, Gary. There's no question, Kent. The Miami defense is tired. They're very ragged. They're not dealing with Nebraska's offensive line, which is just as strong at this point in the game as it was on the opening series of the game. One of the keys to a victory after a victory, and they totaled 12 of them during the 1994 season. Nebraska always as strong at the finish. Ball just outside the 20-yard line. 4.07 to go in the game. 17 all the score. The full house set with a double tight end. Schlesinger, Phillips, and Cluster Johnson. Tommy underneath center, takes the snap, brings it back to Lawrence on a stretch play. Tries to cut back, gets nowhere. Back to the 20-yard line, and the clock runs with 3.54 left to go. Oh, Nebraska man. over the ball, the double tight end set, the full house backfield. Tommy underneath center, huge third down play. Abdul Mohammed calls timeout. Timeout is taken by, no, Miami calls timeout. They used their last timeout with 3.14 to go. I, th I thought perhaps Miami had called timeout. That's the way one official indicated. The other says Nebraska. 
Third down, four yards to go for the Cornhuskers. It's going down to the wire. Holbein wide to the left side. Lester Johnson wide to the right, the double tight end. Ace set, Phillips the lone running back. Tommy underneath center on third and four from the 20. Waits for the snap and has an option play to the right side. Tommy on the keep, cuts back. He's inside the 15 to the 13-yard line. The Huskers have a first down. 3.07 left to go. Tommy Frazier, option right to the boundary. From the right side, Hash ducked back up inside on the carry and was able to dive forward for the first down. And the Miami Hurricanes may well be on the ropes. Nebraska with 3.07 to go in the game now as they stop the clock to move the sticks. Now they wind the clock. Huskers at the 14-yard line of Miami. Break huddle. Double tight ends. I beg your pardon. It's an eye pro set. The tight end is to the left side. Split end right is Reggie Ball. Flanker left, Abdul Muhammad. Schlesinger and Phillips in the eye. The snap to Tommy and the give on the trap play. And it's Schlesinger inside the five. And there for the touchdown. He's got the touchdown. It's the touchdown for Corey Schlesinger. And Nebraska takes the lead with 2.46 left to go in the ball game. Can this be happening? Oh, let's not count these chickens yet. 2.46 to go. Long snap coming up. Bedrow will hold it off the snap of Graham. It's down. The kick is up by Sealer. He touched that puppy right through there. And with 2.46 to go, Nebraska leads Miami 24 to 17, under three minutes away from Nebraska and a national championship. On New Year's night, Stad approaches the ball, hits it with the left foot, end over end, sailing off to the left side, Miami's right at the goal line. It's Pittman, Shipman to the five, he's to the 10, he's to the 15, and Shipman is down in a heap at the 17-yard line. Clock shows two minutes, 42 seconds left to go. The Blackshirts take the field to try to preserve what will be a national championship for the University of Nebraska, a perfect 13-0 record, pay no attention to what happens in Pasadena, California, if Nebraska holds on and wins this game, Tom Osborne will win his first national championship at the University of Nebraska in his 22nd season. And a quest by this program and its fans will have been achieved. And Miami comes over the ball. Remember, 116 left to go last year at the Orange Bowl. Miami, Florida State goes down the field to win it. Huskers need to play D here. As Costa takes the snap, drops back to throw, passes out there, and it is complete to a diving receiver at the 23-yard line. And the clock continues to run with 2 minutes and 33 seconds, 32-31. The receiver was Marcus Wimberly. The line of scrimmage now will be the 22-yard line. It was a 5-yard pickup, second and 5. Boundary to the left side. Spread set for Miami. Costa underneath center, four-man front by NU. And Costa, three-step drop. He's got a man all over him. He'll lose the tackler, and now they got him inside the 15-yard line. Dwayne Harris and Terry Keneally all over Frank Costa. Two minutes left to go. Two minutes before a national championship for the University of Nebraska. And Miami burns its last timeout. Nebraska's national championship helps hinge on the following two defensive plays. Miami with a third and 13 at its own 15-yard line. Can't take it away. Miami is over the football. Ball squarely in the middle of the field. Nebraska with four down linemen. Middle linebacker Phil Ellis plugging in the hole on the left side. Playing soft is the secondary. Costa, nobody with him in the backfield. Drops back. They got him again! They got him inside the 10-yard line! Dante Jones and Terry Keneally once more! helped up by his teammates has one more shot a minute 39 a minute 38 a minute 37 a minute 36 35 34 and 33 one more play by the black shirts and the huskers have won the national championship a perfect 13 and 0 record and now nebraska at the line of scrimmage defensively ready for anything miami can dish and costa in the shotgun standing at his own three yard line a minute 15, minute 14, minute 13 to go. Costa, nobody with him in the backfield. Takes the snap. He's in the end zone. He throws long down the near sideline. It's a jump ball, and it is almost, it's intercepted. Intercepted by Nebraska. The Huskers have the ball. The Huskers have the football. Nebraska 
has the football, Kareem Moss, and the national championship is Nebraska's. Huskers finally get a turnover after giving up three to the Miami Hurricanes. That pick was reminiscent of Colorado's Hail Mary, only this time the defensive team comes up with the ball. Nebraska back on the field with a minute and a second to go offensive. From the 48-yard line, Tommy down on his right knee. 59, 58, 57 seconds left to go. Miami has no timeouts remaining. Nebraska. 51, 50, 49, look at the far sideline. These guys are so happy. These fans are so happy. It is impossible to describe the feeling. Well, it isn't either because each and every one of you know it right now listening. You know it as well as we do here in Miami tonight. Nebraska over the ball, 29, 28 seconds to go from the 47 yard line. Tommy under center. He'll go down on his knee, and we got 21 seconds to go. 20, 19, 18. Nebraska will win the national championship. The Corneskers beat Miami 24 to 17 and win the national title. Tom Osborne just got Gatorated. There's the last second of the game, and it is official. It is history. 13 and 0, and bring that trophy back to Lincoln. Tom Osborne, as dispassionate at this moment as he has been over his 22 seasons as head coach of the University of Nebraska Cornhuskers, making his way through a mob, trying to find Dennis Erickson to shake his hand. You ought to see, you ought to see what's happening in the stadium with the cameras and the flash bulbs going off. Folks, this is incredible. This is absolutely unbelievable for fans. Anybody associated with this program who's watched the quality, the magnificence of this Tom Osborne organization over the years and has wanted this moment for him for as long as he's been in control and wondered if it would ever happen. And boy, did the Cornhuskers fight adversity. They fought it all season long. They fought it here tonight and they fought through it and hung in and finally, finally, the number one position for the season, the national championship goes to Lincoln, Nebraska. Look at the Cornhusker fans as the Huskers leave the field to the dressing room. team gave a great effort uh, in Miami against uh, Miami. We worked very hard on conditioning. We uh, sold our players on the idea that if we worked hard enough uh, throughout the month of December as far as lifting and conditioning and running and so on that we'd be in better shape. And I think that pretty much uh, proved to be the case. Uh, we wore Miami down a little bit. By the fourth quarter we were the dominant team. Uh, Tommy Frazier came in in the fourth quarter, did a nice job. But uh, basically, I think the big difference was simply that uh, we had rotated our players and maybe had conditioned a little bit better. And so when you take a team from the north and you go down on a pretty warm, humid night in Miami and beat Miami on their home field, uh, we, we felt very gratified. Overall season was very satisfying. I think our, our team really uh, encountered a great deal of adversity. They came through every time. and. Uh, certainly the Kansas State game, the Colorado uh, win were, were great ball games. And so it was a, a great group of players to work okay. with. I, I think winning the national championship okay. was a, a great okay. uh, opportunity I for us. And uh, of course it means a lot to the state, means a lot to the program, and hopefully means a lot to you. And we really appreciate yeah. your subscribing to this service and hope you do it again next year. 